So would you take us to the uh, intersection and also uh, it said that you were maybe a little, little bit skeptical buying in. What was that about? Um, basically off the interception, I was just, you know, thinking really what every football player is, is make a play. Uh, but once the once the ball came out of the quarterback's hands and I saw it up in the air, I just thought, oh, I got to go get it. Once it got into my hands, it was muscle memory at that point, just going down there making the making the touchdown. Um, based off of what Coach Hype said, it's always a transition when you get new coaches coming in. Um, you got to they're feeling you out as well as you're feeling them out. And once we had that one-on-one -on -one conversation, not just with Coach Hype, but with the entire staff, uh, we all reached an agreement. We was like, all right, where, where do you want this team to go? And that was, from there, it was, you know, cake. Coach Holder, did you see the flag on your interception return? I saw it after I turned around, after celebrating with my teammates. I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, please don't take it off the board. But it uh, ended up being on them, so it was all, it was all good. Right. So for a guy who's played for three coaching staffs and kind of waited your turn to have this kind of opportunity to play a lot, you know, what, what does that mean to you? Just uh, obviously just one play, but does that, does that carry some added significance because of everything you've been through? Well, it obviously means a lot, you know, just being able to play for such a prestigious program and really play for coaches who have gone on and won a lot of games. So just knowing that, I didn't have those big opportunities, and now that I'm starting to get the opportunity, you know, I'm just blessed to have the opportunity now. Adam? Uh, Hendon, if, if you were contending for more playing time today, how do you think that came off to the coaching staff? Um, I feel like I had a pretty good showing, had some, some things I can clean up, you know, be a lot more cleaner in my um, uh, intermediate game for sure. I was taking care of the ball. David, can you talk about just the number of, uh, y'all have a lot of fourth down, y'all mm -hmm. four or five. On, what is that like, and, you know, when you're out there, did the, did the nerves creep up when it's fourth down? Just kind of, you know, and did, were you surprised that you had so many fourth downs today? Um, honestly, when the, when the fourth down comes around, it's just another down, just playing the play out, uh, try to play every play as this individual play uh, and executing. Go against then David in the back. And then, how much of a difference does it make when you're getting first team reps leading up to a game? Um, every every game, come in and study and um, take the mental reps as a starter. So when my time or my number is called, I'm ready to go. But are, is it how much does it help you to get those first team reps in addition to the mental? Uh, it's pretty much the same, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, you're doing the same preparation. David. Paige, what was the conversation like with your pops after the game when you got to finally talk to him about the big Um, He was just, you know, real happy for me. You know, he's been with me throughout this whole process. Um, he was actually my first coach. So, uh, me getting that, the, the pick six, and then talking to him after the game, you know, he was just real proud of me, just constantly telling him, man, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you all that. Wes? Question for, for both defensive guys. I know that I think there are only like eight or nine teams in the country that haven't forced a turnover yet coming into today, and y'all were one of them. How much were you itching to go out there and get your hands on some balls and make some plays like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all week, um, Coach Banks and Coach Martinez, you know, we were harping on getting turnovers and just making plays on the ball, and I feel like uh, that was our main focus coming into the day, and uh, we executed. You know, we played hard, we played fast, uh, we played when we want to, and it showed. So. And I guess on that catch, Jalen, I know you, you, you kind of followed it for a second. I can see the, the cast on your hand. Were you thinking like, oh, no, like, just don't, don't, don't let this one bounce away? Nah, it, it was trying to get away from me, but I wasn't going to let it. Uh, <laughs> you know, nah, but it was just it was just trusting my, my training and my technique, uh, you know, just making the play, you know, so. so Eric, Ryan, and Jimmy. Jalen, so it looked like you were seeing the ball a lot better today. Kind of what went into that preparation uh, for you to – to have a game like you did today. Right, it was just uh, really locking in on that stuff uh, Monday through Friday, you know, taking the preparation, the stuff to the practice field, to the game, and, you know, just executing, uh, not being hesitant, just making plays on the ball and trusting what I what I saw. With Paulo, do you think the team overall took a step in, in that regard this week compared to maybe you know, before week two? Almost definitely. Uh, like, like I said, as a defensive defensive side of the ball, you know, we, we focused on making plays and creating turnovers and, you know, it showed Monday through Friday and it obviously showed on Saturday today. So it was a big, big focal point on the defensive side of the ball. Right. Yeah.
And then when we spoke with you at the beginning of preseason camp, you, you kind of stressed that you, you'd been through these competitions before and things like mm -hmm. that. So how, how did you handle it, you know, that you got to start the first game? And, and yeah. how did your experience in those situations maybe help you? Just being a, a great teammate at the end of the day, um, supporting him in any way I can, uh, telling him what I see from the sideline, just – uh, being being supportive is the biggest factor uh, in the quarterback room when it, it is a battle because you push each other every day um, to be the best that you can be. And because you've been in those situations, I know how, how they can change throughout the course mm -hmm. of the season. Does that, does that help you when, when, when another guy gets the job like that and you feel like I'm still maybe going to have a chance or how do you kind of look at it? Um, just like I said before, you know, just still studying and uh, taking the mental reps as, as being the starter um, and just being prepared when my number's called whenever. Jamie, on the zone reads, how many of those are predetermined handoffs? And then when you are having a true read where you hand or keep it, what's the percentage that you feel like you're reading it correctly? Um, every one of them reading it correctly. Uh, when it's a when it's a uh, zone read, it is a read, so none of them are predetermined handoffs. Yes, sir. A couple more for these guys. Benson and Adam to finish up. Two for you, Jalen. Uh, how important, after you know, some of the, you know, the backups came into the game, how important was it for you guys to finish off with a shutout and have your guys help you get to that finish line? No, it was very, it was very important. You know, just cheering those guys on, coaching those guys on, because they work as hard as you know some of the ones, if not you know harder than some of the ones. So just watching them uh, go out there and get their reps, and you know, just harp on them, talking about. Don't let the foot off the gas, and you know we want to shut out. So just just trusting in those guys, and you know just being proud of them, watching them play. And Coach Tyler well, talked about you guys made some steps in the 48 hours leading into a game because he wasn't happy about it necessarily in the pit game. What are some of those things that you noticed as a player that maybe were improved to help you get the result today? Right, most of it, majority of it was uh, mental, our mental preparation. You know, uh, looking back at the pit game, some you know. In the 48 hours, the mental preparation wasn't all the way there, so that was a big focal point this week. You know, in the, in the last 48 hours leading up to kickoff, we, we really lock in on the mental aspect of, of things. Last question, Adam. For the two defensive guys, what has to be there in SEC play that isn't here yet for this team? What, does what has to be better in SEC play? Um, just leading up to the game, we got to lock in more. It's all about, we got to realize that it's all about us. Uh, everybody got to make sure that everybody's on their P's and Q's, not just the ones, but also the twos, threes, and even those younger guys. You got to all make sure that we're on each other, uh, not just leave it all up to the coaches. All right, like like Solon said, uh, it's, we determine our own destiny. We determine our own faith. Um, so when we when we lock in on our assignments, our keys, uh, and we play Tennessee football, we're, we're really tough to beat. So that'll be the, the focal point and what we're preaching on going into SEC, uh, SEC play. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all.